Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now this big box right here, we are going to be unboxing today. Now this is the biggest box I've ever received at my house. And as you can see, it's bigger than half the size of my body. So <laughs> I uh, am really excited to see and I'm a little bit afraid of how many pieces I'm gonna have to be putting together. But this is a resin statue from Magic Cube and I've heard such amazing things about this company. So I'm really curious to see how this even stacks up to the other resin statues that are already in my collection. And as you can see, here my cats have already started unboxing this for us so why don't we finish the job and get to the unboxing and it's finally time to open up this box now as you can see it came pretty nicely reinforced with the little bumpers up there um, i opted to do the international standard shipping which was the cheapest option for a package of this size and it was still quite pricey uh international standard shipping uh, if you order through favor gk which is where i ordered this from means it comes by boat it takes a long time but i have not had any problems with it so yeah highly recommend it i had some trouble as you can see unboxing this statue uh i think it is a two-person job at least it would make your life much easier would have made my life much easier but i opted to do this solo and i survived <laughs> barely anyways taking the plastic off of this box is a final piece to reveal the inner box and let's flip it up oh, so beautiful it is a smiling portrait of kane kocho from demon slayer ah oh, she's so cute okay now let's look at the other side of this box see if there's anything else and nope just the same as the front <laughs> nothing special i guess let's open up this box and like i say that because usually the front of the box or the back of the box whichever part of the box usually shows like a picture of the statue itself and this one did it so kind of kind of unique in that sense anyways let's undo these straps from the styrofoam protective covering there's also a fine piece of tape so just Getting that off and wow, Whew. as I suspected, there seems to be a lot of pieces to this statue. I'm excited. Let's take a closer look at what each of these pieces looks like. There was a random piece of squishy foam there, but it's all good. <laughs> looks like there are eight of these beautiful bright pink flower clusters. So. Here is the second cluster. Now we're not going to take a close look at all of them, but I did want to show you that they are different sizes, which will come in handy when we're putting it together on the base. Here are some cables that you put in for the light up portion. And then it also comes with a commemorative coin of Kane and looks like we were number 248. Very exciting. This is also the uh, base, like the holder portion that you'll put the coin on if you want to display it. Nice touch. A couple more flower clusters here. There are some effect pieces that are magnetic at the base. And wow, so beautiful. The beautiful butterfly pattern Howry that of course Shinobu wears, Kane also wears. Here is the gigantic moon effect piece this is the part that lights up so wow so excited to see that in action it has a lot of beautiful gradient effect wispies the final flower cluster and of course the golden fish wow so shiny here is the base itself oh it was so heavy and as you can see it had a lot of foam pieces to secure all of the parts Wow, this base is a work of art. Even the bottom portion of it with Kane's face on it. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Here is one of Kane's arms holding her sword and the sheath as well. Next, we have a very graceful hand holding a cute pink and green butterfly. Here are her legs. Wow, the black and the purple is such a nice contrast. Let's attach the top portion of her body, seamless. And here is the head 
Oh my gosh. Oh. She is lovely, and I love how long and flowy and voluminous her hair is. Oh my gosh, stunning. So attaching the head part. Let's put her, put her hand, <laughs> there we go. And now her other hand, I, oh, oh my gosh. All right, I have the butteriest butterfingers of anybody that I know. <laughs> it is a miracle that I haven't broken more figures during assembly. I'm so glad this was not one of them. <laughs> mm, you heard correctly, I am so bad with keeping things in my hands. Like everything just falls out and I don't know how I've not broken more figures. <laughs> Anyways, here's all of the pieces and let's get to the assembly. It's like I have a love-hate relationship with the assembly part because like it's really fun, but it's so time-consuming. Anyways, here is Kane. We are attaching her to the base. Lovely. And this is the moon. So you see the metal parts there, which will help it light up later when we connect it with the wires. Next, we'll start attaching these flower clusters to the branches. Now, the tips of the branches and the inside part of the clusters have small magnets. They're not really strong, but they are there to keep them in place. Now, as I mentioned before, there are eight of these clusters in total, and there are no instructions, no indications of what goes where. So it took me quite a bit of time to figure out which ones fit in which part of the branch. <laughs> but I'm making it look easy for you here, so you're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. These flower clusters were pretty easy to put in once you start figuring out the patterns of what goes where. <laughs> and I do think it really brings this tree to life. Here is the final flower cluster. Next, we're going to be putting in these wispy effect pieces that fit with a nice strong magnet. And it did look like one of the pieces came broken, unfortunately, but it was a clean break. So some super glue put it back together like no big deal. Here is the fully assembled Kane Kocho statue. Now this is just another little bit of behind the scenes action here. I'm just taking a clean makeup brush to make sure I clean off any, you know, debris, dust, pieces of foam that may have collected during assembly. And finally, the full 360 view of Kane Kocho. This is a 1-6 scale from Magic Cube Studios. She is stunning, but really the whole scenery, including the trees, the moon, the wispies, the temple, like wow, everything is so gorgeous and it looks really expensive, feels really expensive as well. And considering the price, I think it is fabulous. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I love the way Kane is perched on top of this rooftop. She looks like she's floating the air. The wind is just blowing up her hair and her howry. She looks so graceful. These beautiful gold accents on the temple itself also look so beautiful. Like I can't really believe like I really can't believe how much detail is captured on this resin statue even like the wood you can see all of the lines in it the tree isn't only just brown and light brown there's green you know moss with the beautiful pink and the pops of color just add to this so nicely the wispiness that is depicted in like the effect pieces are also gradient colors it's so pretty and ties in with her howry I just can't stop looking at the statue and admiring all the detail and the time and the effort that went into bringing this to life. It really inspires me to try to make some of my own kind of diorama type uh, bases and figures. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> this Kane is so beautiful. Now, as I mentioned before, this statue does light up with the included cable. You just put it into a USB port and wow, the first mode is a continuous light. Second mode is a slow pulse. So as you can see, it goes in and out intermittently. And the third lighting mode is a very flashy mode. So it'll go like quick flashes, slow flashes, back to quick flashes. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> 
next, I wanted to show you what Kane looks like next to Shinobu. Now, they're from two different companies, of course, but I do think they still look great together, mostly because obviously their Howries match and everything. But I'm so happy to have them both together. And putting her on the scale, because I was like, this is so heavy, it's 19 pounds, holy moly. All right, hey guys, so this statue is ginormous. Even compared to the size of my body, it is huge. And at 19 pounds, which I don't know what that converts to, I'll leave that right there. This is a workout, even just holding it right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down. Definitely don't get this if you don't have a stable, solid, you know, structure to set this on because it is very heavy. So uh, put this down here. <sighs> Perfect, so now we have Kane over here, and we have Shinobu over here. We're just missing Kanao now. Kanao now. Uh, so hopefully I'll get to see the trio complete itself soon. <laughs> So as you can see, I've started a mini shrine in my room for my butterfly girls. Above them, I have this gorgeous wall scroll of Shinobu I purchased from Anime Expo, but I don't remember the artist. Really happy with how this is coming together. Ooh, so beautiful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing as much as I did, and I will catch you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>